And a Waco mother is keeping a closer eye on her kids after her daughter was almost kidnapped. It happened Tuesday night in the 2900 block of Morrow Avenue. The mom tells us the kidnapper was just standing on the sidewalk in front of the house before making her move. Curtis Quillen spoke with the mom and the little girl. He's here now with more Curtis. Well, Doug Leslie at first Misty Buell says she asked the kidnapper if she was waiting for someone. At that point, she didn't answer. Rather, she just looked at Misty's kids and smiled. That's when her worst nightmare came true. The random lady, she was just walking. She stopped like right here behind me and she stood. I asked her, were you looking for somebody? She didn't say that. She was just staring at the kids smiling. Misty Bull lives in Waco with her five kids. After school Monday, she was trying to round them up and go inside because it was starting to cool down. But she says there was a woman standing on the sidewalk in front of her house, acting strangely. While she asked her to move on, her five-year-old daughter, Anari, tried to give the woman a high five. I said, okay, well, move around. Go ahead and go on. I was calling the kids. She seen my daughter. My daughter, she stuck her hand out, and my daughter went to give her a five. She grabbed my daughter and took off running. It was real scary. Bull took chase, eventually getting in a car and cutting her off. I mean, she didn't make it past the block. I mean, I yelled at my daughter, and so my daughter started hitting her. Um, I went in the I went sit right there because my auntie told me to sit right there. Waco police say they arrested this woman, 36-year-old Latanya Monique Kelsey, after Bull held her until they arrived to the neighborhood. Now, after almost losing one of her five kids, she is urging one thing. We're letting them know now just don't talk to anyone that's not their parent. If it's not us, don't talk to them. And to parents, Bull says sometimes keeping your kids under watch isn't enough. Unfortunately, you have to be ready for anything even on your own front lawn. You, no one expects someone to just grab their child and take off with them. Because you never know what someone is doing. She could have hurt my daughter. She could have had something in her hand to hurt my daughter. Now, it's unclear at this time if Kelsey will face charges. If she does and is convicted, she could be looking at anywhere from two years to life in prison, depending on the specific charge. That's on top of a fine of up to $10,000. Doug, Leslie. Mm, certainly scary. All right, thanks, Curtis.